Hey guys, so welcome back. We're gonna do um, a swipe with the bloom recipe. I'll go over that in a second. Um, don't worry, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be mixing it up. I'm gonna get some more ring pours and some try some Dutch pours. I'm not having really good luck with the Dutch pours lately. Um, and you know, I'm just gonna mix it up. So let's see, I put my pillow paint down, which is a semi gloss house paint wall paint. I thinned it down with a tad bit of water. Uh, we're using the Arteza Gold I just threw down there. Now this is Primary Elements Jasmine with a small amount of the Rose from Arteza. This is kind of like a uh, leftover paint swipe. This is the Primary Elements Teal uh, Zircon with Interference Gold I had left over. I just dumped it in there and it is like amazing, like amazing. Um, new favorite. So the, oh, and then Amsterdam's greenish blue, of course. Um, you guys should have seen me scrape it. I just got my new bottle of it, but the last bottle I was like scraping it. It was like bone dry by the time I got done with it. It was like the scraping the ends of a jar of Nutella or something. It was just ridiculous, but I finally got my new one. So it's Happy days for me. Um, the white that I'm using to swipe uh, is one in one of uh, Amsterdam Titanium Whites and Australian Flood Flow Trawl. Um, what else? Um, oh, and thank you, Lori, for your comment. Um, I am... Boom, boom. What am I going to say? What was I just going to say? See, now I got lost. Um... Oh yeah, I'm not, I'm going very gentle on the swipe because I, I want to keep the thickness of my pillow there for tilting. And I've had a few people ask why I don't swipe all, like bring all the paint down to the corners and the edges and all that. Is This is like, I just, I go lightly and I want the thickness of the pillow there so I can tilt. And you have to use a lot of the pillow paint for this if you're doing it this way. But then you have to make sure you tilt off enough. So you get a good dry. And now I'm kind of just wiggling or moving it around to get it all to move together. Thank you, Desert Pores, for your comment. Hope you guys like that. I'm trying the new little, you know, thing there. <laughs> um, and what else did I forget? I probably forgot loads, but... You guys can let me know or check the description and uh, I should have every all the info listed. Um, oh, I was going to mention, um, a lot of people are asking about the gold that I use. Not in this, I'm not talking about the Arteza gold, right? The second. But the Suster and Green gold that I use, it's a chain and I believe they're originally from Denmark, I believe. Um, like in the States, they wouldn't have them and I, th I believe in... in like you can't order online or anything so it's like they're in-house brand paints and they're at, they're amazing if you have one of the shops around you like check them out they're good on price and their canvas are really nice but their gold is like i just love it okay um but when i'm out i use arteza gold and as you can see here uh, it's it's pretty amazing like it's getting good cells and it's bright and whatnot so if you can't get the green, the saucer and green gold, I would go for, um, or if you, it's my second. That's where I go second. It's my go-to. I do want to try some of the, I think it's called the Deco Art Extreme, Extreme Sheen, I think it is. I'm not sure. Um, I've seen like, Can well, loads of people use it, but recently I've seen Canela do it in her Dutch pores. I think that's what she uses anyway. Or I think that's what it's called. But I have to try and get my hands on some of that. So we'll see. Um, What else? We are, as of today, all the schools are on lock. Or uh, all the schools in Ireland are closed. They closed them. So we are going to be housebound for a while over here so I'm trying to get all my supplies in and make sure I'm stocked so I can still paint um and keep the videos going so 
hopefully now I'll be able to get, you know, a few more videos up, at least one every other day, if not one a day would be fantastic. Um, now I'm doing two close-ups, one with my lights, and then I will shut my light off and put my flash on so you could see the shimmer, but you could pretty much see the shimmer here. I'm in love with that teal. I love it. This is like a unicorny pour, I think. A unicorny pour. That's a unicorn pour. <laughs> um, what else, what else, what else? I believe that's it. So I will log off and leave you guys in peace. Um, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you have subscribed, thank you. And thanks for all my viewers. I'm going to be picking a winner for the giveaway um, in my, or my latest giveaway. It's the bundle with the Shelly Art course and the color art set. I will be picking that this weekend. I have to get all the names written down. There's loads of entries. So keep your eyes open for that. And thanks for entering. And good luck. Um, check the description for links and ratios and all that good stuff. It's so pretty. I love it. Even when you use the tube paints in your primary elements, if you you know use tube paints and primary elements, um, the primary elements just the primary elements just take over in the, in the blingets. They just make the whole piece shimmer. Anyway, enough. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.